Yo, what's going on, guys? This is what Dragster TV here, back at it again. And today, guys, we're back here on Snow Runner. Now, for today's Snow Runner video, guys, essentially what we're going to go ahead and do today, guys, is simply taking a quick little look at this brand new mod. Now, what this brand new mod is, as you guys will be able to see at the top of the screen, you guys will find the name there, and you guys will see that this truck is named the Catching Air Mega Truck. Alrighty, guys. Now, the last two words in that name, Mega Truck. Alrighty, guys, and based off of the overall model and build of the vehicle, you guys may be able to tell who the creator of this truck is. Uh, it does not say it in the name, but if those that did guess it, yes, it is BB Customs that is the creator and designer and uploader and just everything of this vehicle. Alrighty, guys, so we create the model, he uploaded it to Mod.io or the Mod Browser, and yeah, so. Another thing you guys may have noticed about this truck right off the bat is that it is completely unbadged and unbranded, for a lot of you guys may have guessed it, console use. So yes, this is a completely console friendly mod, and uh, just overall model of a truck. And exactly when we may be seeing this thing make an appearance on console, I'm not too sure when. Alrighty guys, I'm just as curious as you guys are. Really only time will tell, and for you guys, since... I'm going to be staying up to date with all this stuff. Uh, what you guys could stay up to date is by just simply subscribing, hitting that little notification bell down below here to the Jackster TV YouTube channel uh, so you guys can stay up to date with your latest and greatest turn of news. That includes updates, uh, new console mods, and, and PC mods that are currently just on PC but will be making an appearance on console, such as this truck in front of us here today, and other good stuff. So if you guys are interested in any of that content, feel free to subscribe, hit that little notification bell down below with, along with it. But anyways guys, a lot of you guys may have noticed right off the bat, this truck is based off of a Chevrolet S10. I'm not sure exactly what year, I don't know much about the S10s. But anyways, pretty much what we're going to be going ahead and doing today guys is running through the full customization of it, going through some tests, and then rating it out of 10. Alright guys, we're just going to see what this truck is all about. Seems like a pretty cool model, pretty cool build. Let's see if the customization will give us what we need and uh, see what the performance, the most important part of this truck, see what the performance will give us and let's just see if it's a useful vehicle or not a useful vehicle. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop straight into it. So here we go guys, moving on down into our upgrades. You're going to start first an engine and we're only going to have one engine option which is pretty common for a lot of BB Customs vehicles. Alrighty guys, and the engine we have uh, here in front of us today is going to be the big block blower motor. Down here in a gearbox, we're going to have a drop case with off-road transmission. Uh, for suspension, so, so far, customization, you know, it's not giving us, giving us much. But right off the bat, if this is a truck that interests you and you don't want to change it up much, then I'd say this is the truck for you. I'm curious when, when we get down to tires, what we can change them to and if we can change them at all. But here in suspension, we're going to have one option, that is what is on it in front of us, and that is a four-link coilover suspension setup. Here in tires, okay, here we go. So we're start first with our stock 47-inch generic mud tires. And we're going to go up one to 52-inch generic mud tires, which is going to make them just a bit taller, a bit wider. Anyways, so we're going to go and run our 52-inch generic mud tires, and for our winch, we're just going to have toe strap, and for our rims over here in visuals, we're going to start off first with just a steel rim, and then we have the option to have a steel bead-locked rim, and let's just go ahead and take a look at, uh, let's just see, that's how the wheels look right now, stock wheels. And we're going to recover throw on our bead locked rims which I would prefer see how those look those look pretty good so we're gonna go keep those and since we're out here let's just hop straight into the overall review of the truck since there's nothing much we else we can do and with that I mean we went through all the customization and there was no other color options that we could do with this thing so here's our catching air mega mud truck or is it just mud truck or mega truck mega truck okay and right off the bat, the model of this truck, it's, it's pretty interesting, it's very unique, very cool, I love all the detail with the suspension and everything, and especially when you get near the back of the vehicle, where when you're following the exhaust, you notice that it's just straight up header pipes coming right down below the fender, and that that is actually your engine back there, that is your big block V8, right there, look at that thing, let's go ahead and zoom on in here and see how it looks, and... Yeah, it's just pretty much an encased engine, and that is your engine. And that is uh, pretty much it. 
so now moving on into a quick little look over slash review of the vehicle. So directing our attention to the bottom right corner of the screen, you guys will notice that with our gearbox, our off-road gearbox that is, we are going to only have a three gear gearbox with the exception of high gear, low gear, low plus, and low minus. So that's all really good. And with this truck, unlike... I mean, I believe the Tahoe has this, but the B350 reviewed yesterday uh, did not have this. So um, most of his trucks have all-time auto drive. That's that's pretty normal. But with the exception of this truck, it's going to have all-time diff lock. Normally, with most of BB Customs trucks, what you'd normally see most commonly is you'd only be able to have diff lock when in low gear. So that's pretty cool. We're going to have all-time auto drive and all-time diff lock. And now directing our attention, moving on over to the bottom left corner of the screen, you guys will notice that we are only going to get a 16 gallon tank with this thing. Pretty common, I mean, it's with most of his trucks, you know, it's just the same game files he puts in with pretty much all of his builds and vehicles. Uh, and it's not half bad, uh, it's 16 gallons, that's, what, that's just what you're going to get. And moving on into functions, pretty generic, you're not going to have much, you're not going to have any suspension options or anything, which is uh, what we look for a lot of the times. And now to finish it off, we're just going to go ahead and hop straight into the interior, check out our, you know, basic interior. It's a lightweight truck. A lot of these things, now I've never seen one of these things lifted, you know, personally on like YouTube or anything or truck shows when I'm watching videos about truck shows or any ones I've gone to, I haven't gone to much. It's a bit rare to see them lifted. Normally you'd see some slammed S10s, S10 race trucks and it, apparently it's really easy to gut these things just down to a bare frame race truck, you know, engine swap it. And with this thing we did put a big block V8 in the back and we made use of the, the gutless truck, you know. So that is our interior, it's just made to go and stop. I mean, hopefully, hopefully it can stop. But now let's just go ahead and hop straight into the engine sound. What's this bad boy going to sound like? Let's go and find out with the, just our straight dump pipe headers. Here we go. Yeah, sounds like a big block, kind of. Sounds like a race truck. I'm not revving it up, by the way, guys. It's just, it's just the idle. But now let's just go ahead and drive it, see what it's all about. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty good, pretty... Pretty accurate. I'm not too sure what engine is trying to base it off of, you know, completely unbranded, unnamed stuff uh, for this truck, so it's keeping it console friendly. Let's go ahead and send this bad boy over some rocks. So far, suspension is soaking up about 90% of our turns. We are going to flip, and on impact, you're going to take some damage going over the rocks at, you know, decent speeds. I do believe I was in second gear, so it wasn't anything too crazy. I mean, the B350 is second most recent build to this one, uh, which was, he pretty much had the same model and the game files and everything of that truck. He just took off uh, the Ford badges and whatnot for his B350, which we took a look at yesterday. And man, did that thing just not take any damage. And it was, it was quite the beast. Let's just see if the S10 can get just a little bit better performance going on over here. Not too sure it will. Uh, for this truck, we're just eyeballing some performance. We're not going for anything too crazy. So far, we flipped two for two. Flipped twice. Let's just go ahead and do this the correct way. Alrighty, guys. We're going to go and get lined up at the rocks at the end of the strip. We're going to take it over the rocks. We're going to time it. And then we're going to move on down the line. And if we don't flip, we'll take it over the logs right up ahead to our left up here. So it should be pretty fun. Hoping not to flip. And let's go ahead and see what kind of performance we can get by all eyeballing our performance and see what kind of times we can get uh, by using our trusty dusty stopwatch. So here we go guys, in 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Alright, so far no damage taken, we are going to flip, our winch is going to come in handy, our tow strap winch, we're going to start back up. Uh, timer is still going, let's see how many, other time, how many more times we're going to flip. And you know, there are, BB Customs has... Uh, quite a variety of builds so far. I mean, for how he builds his trucks, they are pretty nice, and he has a decent bit of them, and they all perform very similarly. Uh, man, this one is just having quite the difficulty staying upright and, you know, taking quite the amount of damage. We did nosedive. The engine is in the back, but we did end up taking some engine damage. That's all right, though. So, I was too preoccupied with what damage we were taking. And I did not end up looking at what time I was at when I did exit the rocks. 
But all I know is that all together, exiting, we started at the rocks, right? And by exiting the logs, so going over the rocks, then the logs, I did exit with at a full 47 seconds. So that is the performance. So next up, we have the mudding test, and then to finish it off, we'll do down the track strip. We're going to test out our high gear. Now, with most of trucks, now we've we tried out. Now, just yesterday, we tried out, I believe, the same gearbox. I may be mistaken. I do believe they were the same gearbox. Since, as I did say, they're, most of his trucks are very similar, pretty much the same uh, in means of customization and whatnot, but the model of the truck may be different. <laughs> Some customization, depending on uh, what, ty what, type, what type of truck it is, what suspension, stuff like that, you know? It all differs. But when it comes down to gearboxes, they're pretty much the same <laughs> with most of the trucks. So I will know. I'm not too sure if it's, it's the same applies for this truck, but I will know with pretty much all those other vehicles that the high gear is a lot faster than our little Tinky 3 gear gearbox. Now, uh, don't get me wrong, it's still, it's a fine gearbox. It still get, does get a spy, and it is pretty much all purpose, but just for the sake of it, we are going to test out our high gear and see if it's any faster. But obviously not through our mud here. Alright guys, and by the way, I am running the 52 inch tires, the tallest tires you can run compared to the 47 inch, so quite the difference, and we're just going to go and send it. Here we go, 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Oh, so far not looking so good. Alright, this is where our low gear is going to come in handy, we can crawl in by, let's try some low plus, you know, so far a bit surprised, let's try automatic gear, let's try high gear, which is gonna, just going to sink, you know, just straight up just spinning on nothing which is uh, automatic too I do not think we are going to make it through the second mud pit successfully without going at about two miles an hour you know in our low gear so we are going to take the time for just our first mud run let's try low gear or not low uh, automatic gear again and man does that just speed up our tires and spin them anyways guys that was a 44 second run just out of the first mud pit and then we did end up crashing so that was a bit tragic there but now let's just go ahead and test out what kind of speed this thing our big block v8 and then uh with our three gear gear box you know it's it's all right don't get me wrong our three gear gear box with the exception of high gear, which we are going to definitely test out here in just a minute. So here we go. Let's just see what kind of times we can get, what kind of performance we can get. So here we go. Three, two, one. And we're off. Going to spam clutch here. Going to get to two out of three gears. Let's just see. We are going pretty decently fast for three out of three gears. That's why I say don't get me wrong. It is a great all-around gearbox. All-purpose gearbox. And, you know, we are getting pretty decent time. Let's just see that. Bam, 16 seconds straight through, wait, wait, not straight through anything, straight down the drag strip. So all in all, that's that's really good. So uh, 16 seconds isn't half bad for down the drag strip, and that's just maxed out 3 out of 3 gears the whole time. Now let's just uh, give high gear a go. Just go ahead, uh, I'm going to reset the clock, and get it to about right here, and high gear. And then now we're going to start it from about the halfway point. It seems slower, so that's why we check it. Oh, oh, we're going to get a little bit squirrely. Are we going to get any faster? Let's try high gear, and we are going to gain a few miles per hour. So that in itself was 16 seconds. 90% of that was in high gear, and here's the thing. We started from the halfway point, so that's why we test that, ladies and gentlemen. So, all in all, it's a great truck. But there's one more thing we have to finish. All around, it's just fine. Really, what I would recommend... Maybe avoid some mud. I'm not too sure why. This thing looks like it'd go through some mud holes completely fine. However, from our tests we did get today. Now, your performance may vary. Just kidding, it probably won't, but you know what I mean. I don't know. It just uh, it did not go through the mud too well. But, you know, our gearbox did provide us with a fantastic low gear, and it did get us on by... What was that, 40-something? I don't I don't think it was 40-something. I think it was 30-something seconds. I don't have it down. 30-something seconds, just as estimate. Like 34 seconds, I believe, seen uh, going through just the first mud pit. Not the best time, but we did get on by with our low gear, and we got out of there, so it will get you on by. However, at the look of this truck right off the bat, you're like, this thing can just dominate. Maybe all three mud pits, at least two. But no. No, that's, that's why we test it. But the name of the truck, the Catching Air Mega Truck. Does it really catch air? 
I mean, it sure does pretty easily to flip that much. And don't get me wrong, the suspension does soak up a decent bit of your turns. Not a lot, though. And the suspension doesn't sit as high as a lot of his other builds. So, I don't know what's wrong with that to where it, it flips the most. But we're going to go ahead and jump it. See how much air we can catch. Are we going to land? Are we going to flip? Let's go ahead and find out here. So, we are approaching the jump right now. Let's go ahead and just uh, see if we can make it. So, did not go as planned. Let's go ahead and redo that. Three out of three gears, and we are going to make it. We are going to nose dive, and we're going to take no damage, and we're going to we're going to save it. We're going to try to do a donut. Are we going to flip? Are we going to land? We are going to land after flipping, though. And are we going to take any damage? We hardly took any at all. I do not believe we took any damage. Uh, we did mess up the bed a little bit. I'm talking about number damage. I do not believe we took hardly any. If we did, it was just a little bit. And visual damage, we did get some of that. But that's all we need to finish off our test with. That is the Catching Air Mega Truck. It's an all-round, all-right, decent vehicle. I'd recommend avoiding some of those mud holes. You know, it's right up to you. And just be careful on those turns. And that's that's about it. It's a great truck. I'd rate it. I'd rate it overall a 7 out of 10. I couldn't bring myself to say a 6 out of 10. It's an alright vehicle, and I love the overall build of it. Because, especially the interior, very plain. But that's what you'd expect with a build like this. Uh, I know with those S10s, they just completely gut them. Now, that was a complete, just straight up, just seats, gas pedal, steering wheel, brake setup. Alright? And, you know, that's probably not what you're going to get completely out of a gutless S10 race truck in real life, but it it got pretty close, and I gotta appreciate that, especially with the whole build of the four-link coilover suspension setup and everything like that, and it's just overall a pretty cool truck, and I would recommend to you guys. So overall, 7 out of 10, it does have some places where it could improve and be a little bit better, but that's with pretty much every truck, no truck's perfect. But anyways guys, that is pretty much it for the Catching Air Mega Truck. Also known as the Chevy S10, the console-friendly Chevy S10. Alrighty, guys, that's it for the test. That's it for everything. That's it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please do make sure to drop a fat like and to please do consider subscribing and hitting that little notification bell down below to never miss a new daily video from you guys. Uh, content is starting to speed up, especially with BB Customs on the rise, on his grind. And so you guys can find some new daily videos here on the channel every single day. And with that, guys, that is Prim Trip for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have an amazing rest, guys, day or night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.